Hey guys, how's it hanging? You're on Casual Climbs with Marcus, and today we're talking about the most underrated bouldering gym in Singapore, Oyeyo. It's the smallest bouldering gym in Singapore, but don't judge a book by its cover. This place is packed to the brim with roots. You'll never get bored finding fun new problems to send. Now Oyeyo is one of my favourite bouldering places, so here's three reasons why I love it. Number one, it's cozy and a great space to hang with friends where you can really work on roots together and discuss them without straying too far away. With the insane amount of holes on the walls, a lot of the roots are close together and that lets us set our own roots for each other, which is a whole other part of climbing that I've yet to explore fully. But it's also something that I really enjoy as a creative process. There's even an app for this that lets you create your own border problems and save them as well as look at other people's ones. Number two, they actually have a crack climbing set, which is really rare to see in climbing gyms. If you're wondering what crack climbing is, go search it on YouTube. It involves a lot of fish jamming, hand jamming, and really interesting moves that you don't usually see. And it's a part of climbing that not a lot of people have tried. It is, however, really painful. Aside from that, they have an amazing assortment of holes from slippery wooden slabs to dual textures that will make you sweat. There's always another challenge that is just waiting around the corner and I love how interesting a lot of these holes are. Number 3. The staff of course are super friendly and helpful and are even willing to help you if you're struggling with a project. I know I've had a great time chatting with some of their staff and it's always a delight heading down to AO. So shout out to the guys over at Oyeyo for creating such a great place to hang at and to vibe with. During this session I felt pretty weak and I felt like I could have climbed way harder. So it's perfect to talk about the endurance wall and training section that Oyeyo has. It's a great space that has a variety of hangbots for you to train and get those crimps going on. Before we move on, I want to give a huge shout out and special thanks to Ned as well for always being a great climbing partner and helping to film so many of these shots that you're seeing. Without her, a lot of this would not have been possible. Now this route was actually one that I spent a lot of time on and when I finally figured out the beta, I realized how simple it was and how much I was overcomplicating how I was supposed to do it. And I think that's just a great example of how sometimes it's not about how strong you are, but it's about finding the right beta and what works for you in the best way. One of the key features of Oyeyo is definitely its roof section as well. You'll see here that I'm working on a route that leads into that. And it reminds me of the days when we were younger and playing around on monkey bars in the playground. It's great fun, but it's also really good for training. With roof sections, a lot of people think it's hard because they think it's like campusing and you use a lot of upper body strength, which you do. But when you use the right footwork and the right techniques, it helps you really train up that core as well as that analytical skill on where to place your foot correctly. Now Oyeo uses the French grading system. As you can see from all of the gradings that I've been putting on screen, this particular route is a 6B. And I think based on their chart, a 6B is roughly around like a V3, V4. And as much as I love putting the grades on screen, as it adds to the production value, I try not to focus on it too much when I'm climbing. Sometimes you do a 6B or a V3, V4 that's, you know, it's easy. And then all of a sudden you do another one that's like impossible. So, you know, different climbs, different routes have, have their own styles and, and everyone's different. So don't focus on that and don't let that get you down. Now, although Oyeo uses the French grading system, I would say it's actually quite similar to Japanese gyms. A lot of smaller gyms in Japan especially have this style where they have a splash of holes all over and it's just insane amount of routes everywhere you go. Speaking of Japanese climbing gyms, Boruda Climbing recently opened and if you've not heard of that, do check out one of my videos where we cover what we like about it, what we don't like about it and our general thoughts about the place. 
Alright, I hope you enjoyed this short and quick video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. It's just a click away. And let me know which is your favourite gym down in the comments section. This is Marcus and Casual Climbs signing off. And climb on! <laughs>